here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. At the end of the Tournament of Power, about a year had already passed, in which very powerful warriors had already appeared such as Broly, Black Frieza, Gas Moro, among others. Meanwhile in the Kingdom of Everything, Daishankin said to himself, if beings of great power continue to appear, it must also be a savior. We need to open a new divine hierarchy. Daishenken would leave quickly to Universe 7, specifically to the planet of Beerus, the god of destruction. When he arrived, Daishenken would be surprised because the power of the destroyer god Beerus had increased in an overwhelming way. The power of Beerus is abominable. He has increased his power so much that I even dare to say that he surpasses an angel. Daishenken would descend to Beerus' planet, which had undergone a transformation which Beerus had named it as the state beyond a god. Beerus at the moment of observing Daishenken would return to his base state. Great Daishenken-sama, tell me, what can we do for you? I have come to the same reason that your training is due, Beerus. Too many beings of great power have appeared. We need equally powerful beings to protect the universe. I understand, great priest. I will even try harder. What I really want is to train Son Goku, since I find it interesting how a mortal was able to reach a state that even the gods find difficult. Beerus and Wiss would be surprised by Daishenken's words. Father, Lord Goku is on planet Earth, but what do you wish to do with him? I personally, the High Priest, will take care of training him, increase his powers in the right way. But Daishenken-sama, wouldn't it be better to train a destroyer god? We're already born with our destructive power. Of course not. You're born with that destructive power, are not able to master such a state. How was a mortal able to do it? Son Goku intrigues me. Okay, Daishenken-sama. At this time, we'll go with Son Goku and we'll quickly head to the realm of the hole. Thanks for the compression, Beerus. Daishenka would open a portal, leaving that place. At that moment, Wiss and Beerus would start to talk about what had happened. Wiss, what is the High Priest doing on the thing? I don't know, Mr. Beerus, but we can't disobey his orders. That airhead, I don't know how all the powerful beings like him, but it's true. Goku has put an end to all the threats. Beerus and Wiss quickly head to planet Earth, arriving in approximately 27 minutes. When they arrived, they would observe how Vegeta was training in the gravity machine. Mr. Vegeta, how long has it been? Do you know where Mr. Goku is? Vegeta would stop his training. I don't know, Wiss. I haven't seen the Kakarot bug in some time. Wiss, if it's not here, then we'd better get going. Give me a moment, Mr. Beerus. Let me look for him where he is. Wiss would look for Goku with his staff and find him. Mr. Goku is on the planet of the Northern Kaio. It's time to go, Wiss. We'll soon come for you, Vegeta. We must become more powerful. Wiss and Beerus would leave the place, arriving in a few minutes to the planet of Kaio. At the moment of arriving, they would observe Goku training. So apparently Goku hasn't wasted any time either. Oh, Mr. Beerus, a long time no see. What are you doing in this place? I've come for your son, Goku. The High Priest has requested your presence. Apparently he wants to train you because thousands of powerful beings have appeared. Are you serious, Mr. Beerus? Uh, the High Priest will train me? That's right, Mr. Goku. My father has offered to train you. But we must go quickly to the Palace of the Kingdom of Everything. I understand. We'll leave right now with that button that Zenshan gave us. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of Everything, with both Xenosamas, one of them had taken a personality a little more negative than his counterpart, this Xenosama was the Xenosama of the future. That's right, the Xenosama was being corrupted by all the negative energy that Zamasu had released throughout the Universe 7. The quiet Xenosama was gradually being filled with a great foul power, which Daishenken at the moment had noticed. Great Xenosama, are you alright? I'm sorry Daishenken. If you had noticed, I wouldn't have had to finish you off and you would have remained my guardian. Xenosama at that moment would execute a binding technique. <laughs> no! What are you doing? It hurts! It hurts a lot! Guards, attack! 
However, the guards would not move a single finger. The king of everything must not be a child who only thinks of playing. You must die and become part of the true Xenosama. Xenosama would totally merge with his counterpart, obtaining an abysmal power, making everything around him tremble. Now it's your turn, Jai Shanken. I hope you are ready. I must also finish off that damn Saiyan since in the future he can become a real nuisance. Xenosama, please, think that you're what you're going to do. If you lose control, it'll be the end of the whole multiverse. You are the pillar that keeps it in balance. I don't care if I annihilate it. I, the king of everything, can erase everything in its path and in this way of give life to new gods that aren't useless. At that moment, Whisk, Beerus, and Goku would arrive at the kingdom of everything, feeling a very tense atmosphere. That's right, the pressure of Xenosama was supreme. Sorry, it seems that we've arrived at a very bad time. Uh, we'll come back later. Whis, get out of here immediately. He's not Xenosama. He's just an incredible mass of negative energy that wants to finish Goku and me. Whis would try to run as quickly as he can with his staff. However, Xenosama's power was so much that he was able to interfere with the space-time of Whis's staff. Thanks for coming. Now I can finish off that damn Saiyan once and for all. Beerus. If you don't want me to annihilate you, take my side. Beerus would tremble with fear just by feeling a little bit of Xenosama's power. What are you going to do, Mr. Beerus? I'm neutral. I'm just here to guide you. I don't care if you exterminate me in this place. I won't let you annihilate us so easily. Whis, what we have is training now. Whis would create a great distance explosion that would leave Xenosama without vision for a few seconds. At that moment, Whis and Beerus had merged. Just as Goku had elevated his power to the maximum, gaining access to the Ultra Instinct maximum power. When the smoke dissipated, a furious Xenosama could be seen. That precise moment, the Guardians would attack. Don't move. I can only deal with these worms. No matter what you do, compared to my power, you're nothing. No matter how powerful you are, if we have a fighting spirit, we'll still stand a chance. They all rushed against Xenosama, however, Xenosama was right. The beings in front of them did not have enough power to face him. Since he even absorbed all the power of his counterpart, Xenosama in that instant would create a temporal dimension. Be locked up forever and repent of turning against me. Whereas at that moment would strike Goku and Daishenken into the dimension. Whereas would communicate telepathically with the High Priest. If what you say is true, that is another dimension so you could survive. You as the Supreme Angel, I know you'll find a way out. This instant, I will leave everything on the battlefield. No! Whis! The connection would be severed, and the whole would swallow both beings. Ha ha ha! You're a little smart. Because if you entered that dimension, you'd never be able to get out. Because it's sealed with a power similar to mine. I don't know what happened to you, Xeno-sama, but you're not like that. For the pride of all the gods, I will fight till the end. Weirs would lodge an attack, but it was useless, and Xeno-sama in that instant would raise his hand, erasing him completely, leaving no trace of Weirs. Wow, what a waste. He could have been an excellent candidate for the Guardian of Death. Xenosama, the death of the angel Whis in the god Beerus, Universe 7, has been left without a god of destruction. What shall we do? Look for a candidate of god of destruction and bring him immediately. I'll check if he's worthy or not to be it. As you command, Xenosama. The Guardians would leave at a great speed to the Universe 7. Supreme beings, they would arrive in a few moments, heading immediately to planet Earth. Upon arrival, Prince Vegeta would recognize them immediately. But if you're the guardian of Xenosama, what are you doing here? You, Mr. Vegeta, have been chosen to be the new god of destruction of Universe 7. Vegeta was surprised to hear what the guardian said. What happened to Lord Beerus? The god Beerus, along with his angel Whis and son Goku, have disrespected the king of everything. So Xenosama eliminated them completely. This can't be happening. Lord Beerus would never disrespect the great Xenosama. Do you accept or not? Otherwise, we will eliminate this entire universe, since the universe must always have a destroyer god. Of course I accept. 
Oh, and not let the whole universe disappear. Very good choice. Then come with us. The Guardians would take Vegeta to the Palace of the Kingdom of Everything. Great Zeno-sama. He will be that being that will be the new god of Universe 7. So he's the Prince of the Saiyans. I knew he'd be an excellent god and he won't be lazy like you are that damn cat. Vegeta would say to himself, Who is this guy? His presence is totally different than that of Zeno-sama as it emits a feeling of death and destruction. Unbelievable. Are you ready? Because before becoming a god, I must perform a ritual. Of course, Zeno-sama. At that moment that Vegeta would accept, a great pentagram would form all around him. That's right, the ritual to ascend, a mortal to a god had begun. Meanwhile in a room, which seemed like the underworld where Goku and Daishaken, both already awakened. Damn, that damned Wiss and Beerus were able to deceive us completely. Those wretches threw us in this dimension. You're completely wrong, son Goku. Weirus didn't throw us into this dimension since it was the only way to preserve our lives. Weirus was the distraction. Did Mr. Beerus and Weirus really do that? I swear I won't forgive that bastard. I thought we were friends. He's not Xenosama. Since at the time I returned from Universe 7, Xenosama of the future was about to absorb Xenosama of our time. That means... That's right, son Goku. Xenosama of the future murdered your friend Zenchan. That wretch, I'll tear him to pieces. I don't care if he begs for his life. I'll finish him off with my own hands. For that moment, it would be impossible, Mr. Goku, since Zeno-sama's power doubled when he absorbed his counterpart. That's never been a limit for me. I swear I'll become more powerful. I'll leave this place and I'll make it trouble with only my presence, just as he did. Then, Mr. Goku, we'd better start our training since I can see that this dimension is very different from ours. Of course it is Daishenken-sama. Goku began to raise his power in a surprising way to be able to withstand Daishenken's training. Begin. Goku and Daishenken have been locked in a dimension very different from the dimension they came from. The High Priest Daishenken would find out about it. This is the perfect place to become beings of great power, or the perfect place to die. Why does Daishaken Sama say that? In this dimension, time stops much faster. One day outside of this dimension here is 50 years. Goku wanted to be very surprised by what the High Priest said. You being an angel, nothing will happen to you, but I'll die because of my age. Don't worry, it's Goku. Just like you said, being an angel and the High Priest, I can grant you eternal youth. Daishaken extended his hand, making Goku possess eternal youth. Meanwhile, in the realm of everything was Zeno-sama, who didn't seem all happy about his victory. I feel that something's not right. Despite having those locked up pesky people, I don't feel safe. At that moment, one of his guardians would snap him out of his thoughts. Great Zeno-sama, the remaining 11 gods of destruction heard about the death of the god Beerus. What do we do? One thing Daishaken was right about was a to create a new divine hierarchy. Do you plan to create a new hierarchy, Great Xenosama? That's right. I'll put the demon assassin in charge. He'll have the same authority as me. If he wants to destroy any universe, it is his right. The Guardians would be a little scared to hear that the being would rule the new hierarchy would be the demon assassin. To be able to invoke the killer demon, I need his powers, so it's time to form the true king of everything. The Guardians would obey. Beginning to merge, the 12 universes would tremble. At that moment, an opposing being would be observed. That's right, it was the battle form of the King of Everything. It's time! I, the King of Everything, Xenosama. I break the Universal Seal and invoke you, Killing Demon. At that moment, everything around him began to be destroyed. Lightning, fireballs, lightning fell everywhere. It was the power of a truly powerful being. At that moment, a being with the appearance of a child appeared in front of everyone. Oh, this fresh air. After such a long time, return to the earthly world. Xenosam would stand in front of Mizuko. 
Long time no see, Mizuko, the Demon Slayer. Both of them would collide their gazes, and an incredible pressure would fall on the whole realm of everything. That's right, the power they gave off was extremely impressive. Original king of everything, did you free me? That's right, I did it because you will rule the new divine hierarchy. You'll have the same authority as mine. Mizuko was a little surprised. Why this behavior? Millions of years ago, you almost gave your life to seal me, and now you set me free. The only thing you should know is that I'm not Xenosama. Mizuko would be much more surprised to know that the being in front of him had enough power to control a king at all. Meanwhile, in Universe 7, there was Vegeta as the new god of destruction. However, this was very thoughtful, as all gods have a guardian angel. However, Vegeta had none. But from one moment to the next, a portal would be in front of that, Vegeta would be on guard. But this would leave one of Xenosaman's guardians. We regret not being able to send you a guardian angel sooner, but the angelic realm is far away from these universes. I understand. Don't worry. She will be your new guardian. At that moment, Mikoshin would appear in front of Vegeta. So you will be my apprentice from this moment on. I hope you're not like the other gods who only like to sleep. She is a guardian that exceeds the level of Dai Shaken, but since there were no angels left, she was the only one who accepted. Vegeta would be surprised to learn that a being much more powerful than the great priest Dai Shaken Sama would be his teacher. Thank you very much. Of course I'm not like the other gods. I like to train to someday become the most powerful Saiyan of the 12 universes. That's the attitude I like. Who will be great partners? Well, I'm retiring. The Guardian would leave again to the realm of the whole. Well, well, starting tomorrow, we'll begin training. We'd better start from this very moment. Vegeta would throw himself against Mikoshin, who would dodge each of his blows with incredible ease. Mikoshin would stop Vegeta at any moment. I can see that you use much more head when attacking, but your style is not the Ultra Instinct. Your style will be the Ultra Ego. Ultra Ego? That's right. Your body will control 100% of the destructive energy, being able to disintegrate any being that only touches your aura. It is a maximum defense and attack. Vegeta would be surprised by the state in which the angel was going to help him reach. I've never heard of something like the Ultra Ego. Wiss never mentioned anything like that to us. <laughs> so you met Wiss, one of my younger brothers. He wasn't able to teach you that state because only the renegade angels know it, and Wiss as well as the other angels only master the doctrine or state of Ultra Instinct. Only master? Are you? Mikosha, without letting Vegeta finish, would say to him, That's right! I'm capable of using the Ultra Instinct as well as the Ultra Ego. At that moment, Mikosha would increase his power a little bit by changing his doctrine, making his aura a little bit more destructive. Vegeta would be in shock feeling such pressure. As you can see, this is the doctrine of the Ultra Ego. Its destructive power is incredible, but if you face a being that dominates 100% the Ultra Instinct, both energies will be neutralized and only the being that has more experience or power will win. As of today, I'll be the most powerful Saiyan that has ever existed in the 12 universes. Meanwhile on planet Earth, Chi Chi was very worried about the disappearance of Goku. That's right, it had already been two days in which nothing had known of Goku. Meanwhile, in Universe 6, the God Destroyer Champo was disintegrating all the planets that were in its path. That's right, he was furious to learn of the death of his brother. Damn it! Why did that Beerus die? It's true, we didn't get along, but he was my brother. And I can't do anything because the king of everything would eliminate me in a few seconds. Damn it! Mr. Chapel, please calm down! We don't know what happened! We only received that communication! Returning to the time room, four days had already passed, which was the equivalent of 200 years. That's right, the power of both had grown in an impressive way, but the one that had obtained more results was the Saiyan Goku. As his body was designed for battles, his Zenkais were amazing, being able to defeat any angel without any difficulty. But he was still far from the power of Daishenken and much farther from the power of Xenosama fused. Daishenken sama, we've trained for so many years, but in spite of that, I don't feel that my strength is increasing as much as it was in the beginning. From what I've researched, you Saiyans need enhancing transformations to be able to increase your power. I understand. That means I should just adopt Ultra Instinct as my base state. You are right. You are, Goku. Since Goku was the only one to be an Ultra Instinct, 
to be able to obtain better results, however, Goku is not the only one. Since Daishaken was able to achieve a new transformation, being able to overcome the power of a Supreme Guardian. His power was so much that even Son Goku would be surprised. The power that Daishaken Sam is releasing is impressive! I can't believe it! After a big explosion, we could see Daishaken who had an intimidating appearance. This is my maximum power, and even with this power, we're not able to get out of this place. Don't worry, Daishaken Sama. Rest assured that we'll get out of this place and take revenge on that imposter who calls himself the king of everything. Goku and Daishaken Sama began to train in a very arduous way, but in the same way Goku Saiyan had grown his tail. That's right, because he needed a new evolution. That's right, without Goku or Daishaken noticing, Goku Saiyan's tail had grown. One day both were training and at that moment Daishaken would throw a white energy sphere which Goku would dodge. However, Goku would return to observe the whole explosion. But to Daishaken's surprise, Goku began to transform into a giant Ozaru. What the hell? From what I understand, they only transform when they possess their tails. Lord Goku doesn't possess a tail before he entered this place. The immense Uzaro began to attack Daishenken, who by miracle was able to dodge a large sphere of energy. But in the distance, you could see a large explosion that, if it had been outside that dimension, would have been able to destroy six universes together without any problem. Damn, that power that Lord Goku is releasing is impressive. It surpasses his mind with ease, but he's not able to control it. Daishenken would try to make Son Goku come to his senses. However, he was not able to do it, and from one moment to another, Goku managed to catch Daishenken, starting to slowly crush him. Goku! Don't forget our mission! How can we let that miserable dwarf get away with his mission? D D daishenken sama That's right, Goku. You can control him. I trust you. The gigantic Ozoro would release the Great Priest. That's right, Goku was able to release his Ozoru state. At that moment, a great light would illuminate the whole dimension, and at that moment, a being with an opposing appearance would appear in front of Daishenken. That's right, Goku's power was incredible, but something had noticed his fur and hair, since his fur was a purple color, and while his hair was a red color, at that moment, Goku would return to observe Daishenken. Thank you very much for making me come back to my Daishenken. The power that I possess now is incredible, so this is what he meant when he said that I should be an empowering transformation. Daishenken was amazed by the bestial power that Son Goku was emanating. G -G -G Goku! His power is awesome. His power is capable of even defeating the king altogether before absorbing his counterpart. Don't be surprised with so little, Daishenken. This is only 45% of all my power in this transformation. I can still unleash more power. Daishenken would be much more surprised by the words of Goku. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of Everything, a meeting would be held to introduce Mizuko, who would be responsible for monitoring any anomaly in all universes. At the end of the meeting, the god Champa, without enduring more, would stand up. Great Xenosama! With the respect you deserve, what happened to my brother Beerus? We don't want to talk about that right now. The meeting's over. Please leave at this time. I want an explanation right now! I don't want to leave without knowing what happened to Beerus. At that moment, with a cold look, he would disintegrate the destroyer god Champa, leaving all the other gods frightened. If they do not comply with the orders of the great Xenosama, I will take care of it myself, eliminating them one by one. He's a monster! His power is abominable! Mizuko would hear the words of the god Vermouth. You're mistaken. I'm the same demon. Mizuko had eliminated Champa, the god of Universe 6, in a few seconds making all the other gods fear him. As I said, the meeting's over. You may return to your universes. At the moment that all would leave, Xenosama would approach his guardians. At this instant, look at for a being that is worthy of being the god of destruction of Universe 6. When you've found him, you'll bring him in the same way to perform the ceremony to God. As you order, Xenosama. The Guardians would leave to the Universe 6 at a great speed. At the moment that Mizuko and Xenosama were left alone began to both speak. You don't fool me. 
your canter. I knew you'd notice my true identity. That's right, I am Cantor. After millions of years, we meet again. So you did accomplish your goal. Of course I did. I assure you that that damn dwarf was going to regret exterminating our race. Flashback hundreds of millions of years ago, Xenosama, together with Daishenken, were rolling through the 18 universes. However, Xenosama would notice a very peculiar race with the 18th universe, and together with Daishenken, they would observe to arrive at the planet. Who the hell are they? And what are you doing here? Don't you know who we are? We're not interested in knowing who you are, but because of your lack of education, you'll be erased this instant. You don't have the necessary power to eliminate their demonic warrior race. Mizuko was instantly in front of Daishaken, who would be able to observe her blow, but her body was slow. That's right, that being surpassed the power of Ultra Instinct, being able to hit Daishaken. Xenosama, upon realizing the power of this being, would quickly merge with his guardians. Accessing his battle form in a place not so far away was a being which was very wounded due to a great battle he had. His name was Cantor. Cantor would observe how Xenosama, with his last energies, would be able to seal Mizuko. However, before being sealed, Cantor would communicate with Mizuko. Don't worry, Mizuko. I promise to control the King Worm completely and free you. Mizuko at that moment would be sealed. Cantor would swallow his anger, not to be discovered. After a while, he would recover and begin to wander through all the universes. And had already passed a few million and moment to another, was able to observe Xenosama destroying the entire Universe 7. At that time, Cantor, with his special ability, would be able to enter the body of Xenosama, controlling it little by little to be able to dominate his body completely. And flashback. Cantor, my friend, you did it! I always trusted you. I knew you were going to rescue me from that damned place. That's right. But we have to revive all the demons since there is a Saiyan named Goku. I've already locked him in a forbidden dimension, but I feel that something's wrong. You are always the wisest of all, so I'll not ignore your warning. I'll do everything possible to bring the demons back to life. Meanwhile, in Universe 6, the Guardians were looking for the perfect war to take place of the God Destroyer Champa. Well, after a while, a ideal warrior would be hit. However, a hit would refuse. If he doesn't come with us, he will leave us no choice but to end his life. He would be a little surprised to know that if he didn't accept, they would end his life. Hit without any other alternative would accept the position of God of Destruction. At the moment of accepting, the Guardians would take him to the Kingdom of Everything, and Xenosama would perform the same ritual with the Saiyan Vegeta. Meanwhile, in the planet of the God of Destruction, Vegeta, a few months had passed since he had begun his training, obtaining great results, being able to access the Ultra Ego for about 15 minutes. After that, his energy reserves were at zero. You're the most impressive Saiyan I've ever met! Your power increases in an amazing way! I can't believe it! That's because I'm the Prince of the Saiyans! I am the Great Vegeta! And I must be the most powerful Saiyan of all the universes! So let's continue training! Returning to the time room, Goku and Daishenku would also continue training. That's right, the power of both had increased so much that they were already able to leave that dimension. However, they still did not do it because they wanted to become much more powerful to not run the risk of not being able to defeat Xenosama. Daishenku sama we've trained for thousands of years in this place, and we still haven't come out. How long will we stay? With the power we possess now, we're already capable of defeating Xenosama's dwarf. Let's train for a while longer. I have a very bad feeling and we better be prepared, so we won't be caught off guard. Goku and Daishenken would train again. Goku would already be able to defeat Daishenken using 70% of all his power. That's right, Goku's power had grown so much that currently not even a Supreme Guardian Angel would be able to face him. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, Bulma was also worried. She tried to communicate with him, however, it was useless. She had no answer from the staff of Whis. Meanwhile, on the planet of Vegeta, he was having a difficult training. However, at the end of the training, he would approach Mikoshin. Mikoshin, let's go to planet Earth. I want to visit my family. I haven't heard from them for months. As you order, Vegeta-sama. Both would go to planet Earth, arriving in five minutes, to the Mikoshin being much faster than even Whis. 
While Vegeta arrived at Bulma's house, everyone was surprised to see him with the clothes of a destroyer god. But Vegeta, what happened to you? Vegeta would take Bulma by the arm and leave to talk in a much more private place. A thousand things have happened. Xenosama killed Beerus and Whis. But what happened? What are you talking about? They murdered Mr. Beerus? That's right. But it really wasn't Xenosama. I'm sure that someone's controlling Xenosama from the shadows. So I wanted you to tell all the vermin to train that a very complicated battle is about to approach. But what do you plan to do? I plan to be on the side of the gods until we know what their true intentions are and how we'll defeat them. It's okay, Vegeta. I trust you. Vegeta would leave Bulma's house. Now if Mikoshin, we can leave. As you command, Vegeta-sama. After they were leaving, Bulma started to tell everyone what Vegeta had told her. That means we must become much more powerful. In that case, we should train in the time room since there isn't much time. Mr. Piccolo's right. It is the best alternative. All the Z warriors began to head towards the time room. Meanwhile, returning to Goku and Daishinken, several million years have already passed, in which their powers had increased in an absurdly impressive way. Daishinken, it's time to leave this place. I agree with you, Goku. The time has come. Meanwhile, in Universe 6, Hit was very thoughtful. At the moment, Vetus would approach him. Mr. Hit, is something wrong? Of course it is. I don't understand how the king of everything Xenosama allowed the death of Beerus and Mr. Champa. Something bad's happening in the high command. I also believe the same thing, Hitsama. But we can't do anything about it. We're not able to observe how Mizuko disintegrated Mr. Champa without any effort. That wretch will pay me for ending Mr. Champa's life. Vados, please train me. I want to be of help and assassinate that guy named Mizuko. Well, of course I'll train him, Hitsama, but it is impossible for him to kill Mizuko. Why are you saying that, Vados? Is there something you're not telling me? Hitsama, since the death of Champa, I've been investigating that guy. I found something creepy. What did you find? Uh, please, tell me. That being is the Killer Demon. Killer Demon? Why that name? What feat did he do in the past? Mizuko. Killer of 18 super gods and 9 super angels. He's the most powerful demon ever known so far. No demon more powerful than him has ever existed. Just as he's known as the demon assassin. I'm known as the legendary assassin. One of the two of us would be left standing. Thedos and Hit would train in the same way to avenge the death of Champasama. Meanwhile, returning to the dimension of Goku and Daishinken, both were released in an extremely impressive power to be able to escape from that place. However, a being of Saiyan appearance would appear in front of both of them. Well, well. So you're the ones who expelled that overwhelming power. I can't believe it. You're only an angel and another Saiyan. Who are you? I'm a hybrid Saiyan. Hybrid Saiyan? That's right. I'm the union of a goddess and a Saiyan. Goku would be a little surprised to know that this guy was the divine immortal result. However, the essence of this guy gave off was absolute evil. That's right, Zykor would give a great blow to Daishinken, which would send him flying hundreds of meters away. You'll not leave this dimension, since I am the protector and I have clear orders. So that damn dwarf sent you so that we won't be able to leave! But because of sending more warriors, only one will be pulverized. Don't underestimate me. I've lived through several of your lives. I have much more experience than you, so I'm capable of finishing you off without you realizing it. I want to see you try. I don't think you have enough power to make me bleed. Zekor, very annoyed, would throw himself against Goku, giving him a strong blow in the face. However, the blow would not move him even a little bit. Zykor would be a little scared because that blow had been directed with 50% of all his power. I must admit you have a great power, but tell me, what do you think of this? Zykor would begin to increase his power in a surprising way, however it would not be enough for the Saiyan that surpassed all his limits. That's right, Goku only dodged each of his blows, Goku by increasing his power a little, 
the same dimension would begin to distort. That's right, the same room had created stars, planets, Zykor from one moment to another would be thrown with such brutal force towards a planet, and Goku on the surface would begin to charge a powerful Kamehameha. I will not die in this place, much less for a Saiyan that's not even as old as me. Demonic Fury! Zykor would have activated a secret technique of the demons. That's right, Zykor was the mixture of the divine and mortal world, but the divine world, there were also demons, so Zykor was a demonic Saiyan. Zykor, with his new obtained power, would also charge a great attack, throwing it against Goku's Kamehameha. However, he'd be surprised that he observed that Goku's attack destroyed his attack with total ease. That's right, Goku had been able to pulverize one of the demons that Kanto and Mizuko had revived. That was too easy. Daishenka was amazed by the power that Goku demonstrated a few moments ago. It's time to get out of this damn place. You better be ready, because I don't plan on leaving anyone alive. Goku would increase a great part of his power, creating an explosion in that dimension, being able to even feel it in the 12 universes. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a 